Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today I have our June 2020 product roundup. This is where I go over my new products for June and I give you my thoughts since I've been using them all month on whether they're still favorites, if they're okay, or if they were a fail. So I have a lot of products in front of me, so go get a cup of coffee or an adult beverage and let's get going. So I only have one fail for this month and I've already returned it. And the reason I returned it is because for the amount of money it cost, it just didn't work for me. And that's the Charlotte Tilbury color corrector. I thought because I'd heard so many good things about it that it would work and really, it didn't really work for me. So I went ahead and returned it. So that's the one fail that I have. So let's go on to products that were okay. This means that I will probably use them all up or to stash them, um, give them away, um, but most likely I'll just use it all up and I'm gonna go in no particular order. So let's go ahead and get started with the items that I thought were okay. First is from my um, Ulta haul, it's the UFO Sunday Riley Acne Treatment Oil. So I've been using this this month and I don't know if it's working or not because I'm using this every night but yet I'm still breaking out. Now, that's not fair to this because I am going through perimenopause, so I am getting my hormonal acne and stuff, so I don't know. I probably won't repurchase this because this was really expensive, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it for the rest until it's done. The other okay items were the e.l.f. Bite Size um, eyeshadow products. These were only $3 and for $3 they're pretty good and especially for drugstore items. Um, I'm going to keep these and keep playing with them and after I'm done playing with them I'm going to give them to my daughter and my niece and let them play with it. So these bite size were good but I will have more of them up on my channel. The other item that was good um, but I wouldn't repurchase is a Surratt Dew Drops. I have mine in the color 8. Now if I didn't have hyperpigmentation this would be amazing because I like the idea of just a light coverage to even out the skin tones. So this is good for that. But for me with oily skin, mature skin and major hyperpigmentation on my cheeks, this is good, but I have to use a lot of um, concealer on it. But I won't be purchasing this since I need more medium to full coverage. But this is beautiful for those of you who don't need fuller coverage. The other thing that was OK was the Hourglass Vanish um, foundation. So I finally got mine in the color nude and I do like it. Do I love it? No. I like it and I like the way it looks on my skin but I probably won't be repurchasing this especially since I have so many foundations and there are a few that I do love and I'll be repurchasing those when I go through those but this one I, I'm still glad I have it but I won't be repurchasing it. My other two concealers are from Hourglass. Now these are really full coverage. Um, I think I really like it for covering my hyperpigmentation, but when I put it under my eyes and I set it down with powder, it's so thick that it makes my eyes look crepey. So I'm gonna use this on my face, not so much under my eyes, because it's really, really full coverage. And I still need to play with this a little bit more to see if there's a way to use this without making my under eyes look crepey, but for now, this is an okay product. Now, the other product is the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. I do like that it has the two different kinds of brushes, the short side and the long side, but I don't see what it does for me more than a drugstore product does. So I'm gonna use this, but I won't be repurchasing that either. The other two eyebrow products are from Charlotte Tilbury. I have the Legendary Brows and the other product is from Char Charlotte Tilbury and it's the Legendary Brows. This is what that brow brush looks like. I do like that it's so tiny, but again, I don't notice it does anything spectacular and it's not magical or anything, so I won't be getting that again, but I will use all of these up. The other is the Full Fat Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury. I liked it. It works, but do I love it? Would I pay full price for this? No. I'm still in love with my Thrive Cosmetics and my Caution Mascara from Hourglass. So the other new product that I recently tried is the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. This took a while to build up. I actually have it on today. Um, I like it, but I wouldn't repurchase it, so I'm just gonna use this up and be done with it. 
The other two eyebrow products that were good but I wouldn't necessarily repurchase is the e.l.f. Instant Eyebrow Pencil and the Eyebrow Gel. For the price, it's pretty good. So if I were like on a trip and I forgot to buy brow products, I would buy these in a pinch just because it's inexpensive and I know it would work well enough. Okay, the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. I like it but I don't like it for the price. Do you know what I mean? There are other setting sprays that I use and I think my favorite is still the Glow Recipe Watermelon Girl Ultra Fine Mist. This is still my favorite and I still do like the Urban Decay 24 hour setting spray. So this, I'm gonna use it because I like it, but I don't think I'll repurchase it for the price. My last okay item is the Briogeo Don't, Re don't Repair Strengthening Treatment Oil. I love the way this smells, but for my long hair and the ends. I don't think it's um, thick enough for my hair. I do love it. I'm going to use it, but I won't re be repurchasing it. For me, the Moroccan oil works much better for my hair type, which is thick and coarse and long and probably damaged. <laughs> okay, let's go to my favorites. Let's start with the big items. So I got the Sol de Janeiro um, smoothing and strengthening shampoo and conditioner. I love this. My hair smells good. It goes with the lotion, body lotion that I have and also the perfume that I bought. It goes all together so well that if I'm going out somewhere and I'm gonna be around a lot of people, although that's not happening a lot these days, um, I would use all of these so that I just smell like one product. I love this. I've been using it every day. Now the perfume, I still smell it on me and I sprayed it early this morning and it's about mm, early afternoon and it's not strong on me but I can still smell it so I do like that. Now the other favorite perfume is by Heretic, the Dirty Fig. Seriously, this is so good and usually I like fresh and citrusy scent, light floral and this and it smells good on me all day. Oh, I just love this. If I run out of this, I will definitely be buying the bigger, bigger size. Now, this is an oldie but goodie. It's the Laneige Lip, Lip Treatment. What is this called? Lip Glowy Balm. I love these. I have one at my desk, in my car, in my handbags, by my bed. So this is always a win. And I don't, I can't even tell you how many of these tubes I've gone through. Then let's keep going. Um, foundation, this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. Okay, I love this for quick and easy, get out the door. And then after I put that on, it does look powdery, so I sped it, I sped it, I don't spit on it. I spray it with the watermelon mist and it looks great. And it does a great job of covering up my hyperpigmentation without having to use concealer. So this is a huge win for me. So I carry this in my handbag and I will be repurchasing this to carry in my handbag afterwards as well. Now, Pat McGrath. Can we say hello, Pat McGrath? I love her concealers. I have it on right now um, and it's under my eyes and after I powder it, it does not look creepy. I love this and it's so thin that it doesn't even feel like my face is caked up if you know what I'm saying. So these are a huge win for me. Now I have mine in the color L5 and LM14. The L5 is kind of light so I mix these two together but the LM14 because I have the LM14 um, foundation as well so this goes perfectly to cover my hyperpigmentation. I freaking love this. Now the other things I freaking love is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Blurring Under Eye Powder. This blurs amazingly well. And again, I need to know from you folks below if any of you guys have the regular loose powder, if it does the same thing. So I have the light to go under my eyes and the medium and I use this all over my face. I mean, I've used it so much already. <laughs> I love these. Now the only setting powder that I love better than this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter, I think is what it's called. But I love these. These are really good. Like if I ran out of this, I would repurchase. 
and I'm thinking about at the next Sephora sale getting the loose powder to see if the Pat McGrath loose powder works like this. Okay, going to my favorite concealer, the Bendy Avocado Concealer. I have not used this in years, and this time I got mine in the color three and four. I love these. They're light under my um, under eyes. They move with my skin. They don't settle into my fine lines and wrinkles, and also does a good job of covering my hyperpigmentation. So these are already a repurchase. So, and I, it took me a while to repurchase again because I have so many concealers, but I did miss this. So I went ahead and repurchased these, and I love it. Now the Hourglass Veil Eye Primer. I really, really like this. I was skeptical when I got this because I was like, how different can it be from the drugstore eye primer? But it does a really good job of keeping my eyeshadow on and not creasing. And the eyeshadow looks very pigmented, like the way it did when I first put it on early this morning and it still looks good. So this is a win for me. Surprise me. That's how I know I should always keep an open mind when I'm trying new products and then keep trying them because first impressions aren't always the last impressions, you know? And I love, mm, love the new Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I have mine in the color medium. I have it on right now. And I honestly think this is my favorite bronzer right now. And I have a ton of bronzers and I still think this is my favorite. It makes my skin look so good. It blends beautifully without lifting any of the concealer. And I don't even have to um, stipple it on. I can just brush it on and it doesn't take away the concealer or any of that stuff. So this is a huge win for me and I'm glad I got the medium shade. Okay, let's go to some brushes. I got the big hourglass um, powder brush and I already had the one for the unlocked edit so I knew I would like this this had been on my wish list for a while so I finally purchased it I also got the Fenty face brush the 125 and I'm surprised at how much I like this one it makes me want to try more of the Fenty brushes do I need more brushes no do I love brushes yes so we'll see I still love using this and maybe during the next Sephora sale I may pick up a few other Fenty brushes to keep trying because I really do like how this works. It does a great job of sculpting when I'm doing contouring and I can even use it on my nose. It's so great. Okay, eyeshadow palettes. 420 by Melt Cosmetics. I love this, prod, uh, this palette. I like the yellows, I like the greens, I liked how they looked on my eyes. Um, they lasted all day, it was easy to blend. It surprised me. Makes me want to get another Melt Cosmetic palette and I'm thinking, um, what was the one with a lot of green? Smoke Sessions maybe? I don't know. But you know, that's an old product so you guys are probably not interested in seeing that again. So I have to weigh that against how much I really wanted a product. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And then my love, this is my favorite, probably from the month. And this is the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2. I have this on my eyes right now. I didn't think I would love it as much as the Divine Rose 1, but the Divine Rose 1 is more everyday. I have this on my eyes right now, and I didn't know how much I would like this bright pink, but I do. I have it inside my um, crease. And I do like it. And I feel like I can wear this as every day, even though it's the sassy sister that sometimes you don't want to take out. <laughs> so I do like this a lot. Uh, I knew I would like it. I didn't know I would love it. So I love this palette. And for those of you who are willing to go just past the neutral, not too far off, but, and you like the Pat McGrath formula, this is so worth it. And I'm glad I got mine in the limited edition uh, cover. Now this is an oldie but good goodie. It's the Hourglass Arch Brow and I have mine in the color Warm Brunette. I've been using this one for years and I repurchased it because I hadn't had it for a while. Love that. Let's go to lip products. This is the Clarins Lip Oil in O2 Raspberry. Oh, I fell in love with this. I love that it has a big fat paddle and it feels so good on the lips. I love this. This is a new fave. I think I want to try other colors, but when you actually put them on the lips, can you really tell the difference? It gives a hint of a color, but you know. Now, I also like the Milani Ludicrous lip products that I got. I only have one here. I kind of, I already lost the other one. This one is in the color 120. She's all that. 
I love these. These are probably some of my top five lip products ever. Now the other lip products that I got were from Chantecai. These lip veils and lip cheeks, oh, these are amazing. I love that it feels so moisturizing on the lips. Um, it gives color. I just, I just, and they're magnetic. See? So satisfying. I love these. I wish they weren't so expensive, but I can see myself getting more Chantecai lip products in the future. Now, with the community opening up a little bit and going outside more often, there are two uh, sun products that I want to mention that I love. And one is a Color Science Un Sun Forgettable Brush On. And I have mine in the color medium. I carry this in my hand. Oh, this is a new one. I carry these in my handbag and I have one in the door, door of my car. And I brush this on all over while I'm in the car because I take my sun care seriously, especially with all this hyperpigmentation. If I'm in the sun and I don't have sun protection on, they will get darker. So I have this one in my handbag and one in my car at all times. The other item I have in my handbag is a Kate Somerville SPF 50 Uncomplicated SPF. It's a soft focus makeup setting spray. I have so many of these in backup as well. I carry this around in my handbag and if I um, need to spray my face really quick because it's been over two hours, I'll just take this, take it up and spray my face and it works. I take my sun care seriously and I do put something on my face every two hours, especially if I'm outside. So those are my June product roundups. What do you guys think? Do you guys have any faves or fails even within the stuff that I have? I'd love to know your thoughts. If there are any products you think I should try, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you think there's anyone that would enjoy these videos, please share it with them. That would really help me out with my channel since I'm still new and uh, growing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.